what you guys were looking for. Final seconds Finally. take down, and we get the Lissandra lock in, and a Gragas too. Yeah, and a Gragas now can shift to top um, as a pick, and it's actually good to Kindred because it can mess up that land's respite and just really throw people off guard and maybe get a kill. And again, we talk about Lissandra just trying to push a lane. Oh, he's got mid. Oh, yeah, that's a quick flash. Perks uses his shadow to harass Expecta here, who's sidestepping all of the abilities. And then Amazing just walks in and, and kind of punishes that. Of course, he may not slow down the bloodlust he has been exhibiting this whole series on all those assassins. Mithy stepping up forward now. A little deep, Mithy. He does take a lot of damage after the Unbreakable is popped, but the Zephyr on him a lot more. And Emperor exhausted. They need one more. And Trick comes out of nowhere, but Mithy with a quick flash away. Home CC to get that one kill. Emperor right oh, now. There's the net. But we have to credit. Or J. Okay. They've outplayed G2's bot lane here, 2v2. In a matchup that they should lose. We'll get to back later Another here. Gank mid. Another gank mid. Yep. Amazing is right back, and there's the frozen tomb. Teleport coming in, but it may be too late. Amazing! No, that's gonna be Perks going in, but Perks going down for first blood, and Ake staying alive. Kick is too late to the party. Tries to take a swing, but he misses that amazing. And Zed will try and just shadow out of your Zio ulti. You can't do that against the Sun. See the evolving. I'll be picking Van here now. Trick coming in to look for Sven. That's a quick flash away as the teleport comes in from Soaz. Throws the big barrel, knocks Trick back into this one. Lancer's fight is forced. And now Origin are going to back away. They can't keep fighting this one. Soaz now having to burn his own flash, and Mithy standing behind, or rather standing in front. And Perks is caught out by Peke. Get off my lawn. Towards the season with Power View and expect it. See a dive though, so we'll get back to that later. Yep, G2, three of them caught in the middle and instantly Trick just getting blown up. They take themselves another as well. Double kill over to Amazing. They grab everything and they get out. It's just fantastic use of this Sandra Elise combo. It, everything starts in the mid lane. Once you start winning the mid lane, you can roam to other lanes, take your advantage, give it to the bot lane, give it to the top laner. In this case, it's just perks being caught up, but Again, Zed is not running at global. And he uses it. Hybrid and Mithy knocking each other up, but Hybrid does not have the, the stats to keep alive in this one. He's gonna have to burn his flash and his ultimate, but Emperor does find an opening here. Sven oh, he's very low. In comes Kikus around the backside. Time Winder moves it, lines it up, not even needed with the ace in the hole, and Kikus goes hunting. Reset on the ace, they get Mithy. More damage, Time Winder unbreakable, or is it? He's gonna go down. That's a double kill for the top laner of G2. Honestly, Kikis has been playing very well this game. Dodge with the ulti from Perks. Oh, trying to stay alive in this one. Amazing, he's ignited Perks. And the spider goes up, the spider goes down. Perks turns around, but Peke puts him in a tomb. And that's the thing, right? You can't dodge the ulti at first, but where are you going to go? So much for uh, weak landing phase. He does have a lot of help, but 402 is a very respectable score on the board. Now Kikis and Soaz want to bop at each other, but Amazing, he's just all over the map this game, and he looks for a hunting trip. Dodging out of the cocoon with the chrono break is Kikis, and there Ooh. is Peke teleporting in the backside. Kikis knows he might be in a spot of trouble right now and keeps trying to stay alive. Barrels are flying. Kikis throws the convergence down, but it might be a little too late as the cocoon catches him. And amazing, claims another. Forcing them off and out. Ooh. Duh. Uh, false alarm. <laughs> and now they got a dance off. Good dodge, Kikis. Hybrid rejoins Emperor back up top, throws the shield on him. Now they can actually push in that Zed even farther. Yeah, Set up for the rotations. One of those rotations could be a dive on the bottom lane. Yeah, he might have walked himself into a trap. He gets hit up by the body slam. Frozen Tomb's on, and he doesn't stand a chance as Soaz claims him. And Trick comes in to try and defend way too late. Man. Why, if you play side lane, so much is about your mid lane still. Like, if he's having the pressure in mid and he can roam first, you can start pushing up the towers. You know he can join in. You know he can set up tower dives. Not take that one too deep, but this well. is going to be the tower started here. Trick trying to zone them off. They still got a few more mini waves. That tower is already down to half health, and they knock Trick back in and pop him on up. Can they take him out? Yes, they can. Before he can even get the land respite on, that is a quick one for Origin and the slow moving kick is coming up to the top. Oh, he's going alive. But Peke puts Emperor in the frozen tomb, and he gets an unstoppable kill. Perks around the backside, does not have the damage to snipe out Sven. And Kikis just comes way too late to do a damn thing. Two kills for Origin. They stay in the middle, they stay on Kikis, and they get him down to half health. They just keep on pushing and chugging away. 20 minutes on the clock, and this is getting pretty big for OG. Origin just focused on two lanes because they were so confident they could just force a dive. 
and goes straight in. Oh, so going, oh Peke pops his on his hourglass, kick is waits to shut him down. It's Perks who finally picks up the kill. Amazing, chased out by Kikis. Can they get the last shot? No, because Soaz threw his considerable weight in the line of fire. In terms of team fight, I think take it with the hourglass. Yep. And there was the ulti. Worst case for Peke, if he's the man engaging and locking down Emperor, he just hourglasses himself. Yeah, that's the tower, and they managed to get a knock up onto Hybrid now, so they will get away. They didn't want to chase the kills after the fact, but Trick does indeed want to do that himself. And now Perks just comes out of the woodwork. They start chasing him down, but the barrel disengaged will mean they have to back off of that one. Three kills, we take tower then, yeah. and we suddenly got everything. I mean, Keek is becoming a menace, though. He gets like a Q Assessor at one point, he can really dive into the enemy backline because look if you if you look at Origin, if Kikis is jumping on Sven, he's gonna just be tanking a lot of, of the of the, the peel that is magic damage. Rotation from Origin though. I, I like this for rotation in the bot lane. Yep. Wanted to shut down the one teleport that G2 have. I really like this from Origin because you know that Zed cannot join. As long as Zed cannot kill Lissandra, this is good for Origin. It's not happening right now. Peke just realized he, he can, can take it. it. He's gonna turn for perks and that pops the mob out. Morty. Peke though does take a heaping helping a damage on the back mid. Meanwhile, Trick takes out Mithy. Wait, what happened? Happened? Oh, oh. Down in the bottom side, get a double kill for the Kindred. What can they do with this right now? Mithy's already gonna be back up. We'll take a look at how this happens. Like at this point, they're like, oh, we're we just gonna chase for one kill and then we always have TP. I mean, look, no, 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 amazing right now. Oh, he's just staying on blue. Yeah, this play is free. So, in Orson's mind, they're making a rotation that G2 can't defend. And they thought that Kikis was just buying time, but they did not expect, I think, all these members to walk through the lane outside of vision because G2 is coming in to try and ward off the Baron. Yeah, any action. Hang on, G2. Yeah, in comes the Braum. Mithy trying to defend all this one, but G2 had pulled the trigger, and once again, they do not release. Origin on the retreat path, but Mithy takes the death mark. Proc has to burn his flash. He will stay alive for now. Perks in the front line, taking a little bit low, but Kick is trying to cut them off from the backside. Peke, he is just caught. Puts the Doom on himself for the moment, but the Monsoon will keep G2 healthy for just a few more seconds, and Peke is slain as the rest of the team amps crates. They build Huge. themselves the wall. Wall of Caitlyn traps. Let's see if it buys them enough to make their team fights great again. 2,500, 1,800, 1,700. This is going to be a smite fight. Who's he going to go to? It's picked Emperor. up by the Kaelin. Emperor grabs it. We've seen that one happen before. But on this side, it's a bit different. Now G2 need to beat the retreat. Can they get away? They've lost the trick. But do they lose this fight? Kick is slowed down. Can he get back to base? He's going to dash away, but stunned up by the Braum. Turns back in. Two members down. But G2 secure Baron. You eat a very cool weird cupcakes, Prepo. Some uh, Z zoning. This is this is a little bit strange, for sure. The inhibitor tower is going to get fired down. It took them a little while to do it. They just kept getting harassed by the Janna, the Zed, but they do manage to get that tower and get out. Still able to get a little bit done, picking up a few spare kills. This is going to be maybe not a tower yet. Peke still threatening, but look at perks around the side, just trying to be a deadly force. Gonna get stopped up for just a second by Soaz. This tower just keeps taking heavy fire. But Trick, he had the tomb on him. He's managing to put the Lambs' fight out. This will be enough for the heal. The Janna Monsoon as well. It's like they can just reset these fights again. Because then it can be an opening for Perks to shadow it and finish somebody else. He's gonna try it. He already went ahead and popped the ghost play, but kick us on the top side looking to chase down Pekka. He's dealing so a whole lot of damage. Break. He cut him off. That's a teleport. Can he get him down in time? It doesn't look like it. No, but Pekka, safe under inner tower, has to back now. And that's a TP down, so suddenly the flank is not as scary. And the rest of Origin are going to be able to clear out the wave, though, so no harm done here. Ever steps forward. He's caught on a cocoon, but there is a quick QSS. Burns the flash and the net. Everything to get away from this one. That's Origin fine. overstepping here. They might just push for it, looking for Kickis. He's racing. Flash. Out of the jungle, though. Flash being down is huge for Origin here. You can body slam Flash now as Soas. What do you think about this one? Teleport has started to channel on the bottom side. We might be in for another smite fight. In goes Perk. Trick is yeah. taken. Trick is a god. I cannot believe it. And now Origin are just going to fall back and forth. Emperor slain by Peke, however. So the fight may not be said and done. Amazing Will gets splatted on the back of that one. But so has double team on. Not before Perks is able to come up with another pickup on to Sven. A 3-4-3 three three Baron to G2. Excuse me, 3-for-2. be a very long game if we end up seeing five dragons in this one, but it has been so back and forth, and finally, Peter Totter swinging G2's way. Still helps late game getting that burn on the towers. Now, TP coming in from Origin. And that is a fast Soaz around the side. Peke, though, he gets the Zanyas on and will deny the death mark. No! no! He just oh! it, and that is going to change 
change everything! Now G2 on the chase with the Baron empowered minions. Mythy's fan amazing. So as running as fast as they can back into base. There's still half a minute on Baron. I can't believe Peggy just died. All right, Demon. We just died. Don't believe. Tower. I wasn't wrong, Mike. That's all good. I was playing. That's gonna be inhibitor turret. That's gonna be inhibitor. That's definitely gonna be Mythy. Perks is dominating after an atrocious laning phase. He's 63. This is absolute insanity. Yeah, that's half a second mistake that may cost them the game. Shadow Park is three seconds. Sony has two and a half. The monster here with the rookie mistake here. Origin under pressure. Such a tense moment here. Origin trying to hang firm. Deathmark already back up. They turn their attention to Svan. Perks going way too low. Oh, oh Perks! Gosh. He's gonna grab another kill. It's amazing. And so on. That's the last Nexus turret. That's gonna be it. We have a new king in Europe after all. 2015, they proved they were LCS material. 2016, they're top of the charts. We thought it was gonna be five games, but G2 had other plans. And two seconds, one second, half a second. I'm so impressed with the takes. way they're handling this game. Everything looks so poorly for their mid lane at the star player, going down so many times, and yet they keep it cool. Great shot calling, great reactions from this team. Get two Barons as well. And then in the end. I mean, Kik has bought them so much time. We have Kik has had a sick game, because if you look at the start of the season, he sometimes was doing, yeah, yeah, tank player only, low impact, but he bought so much time with that echo pick overall. It is no so longer a bad thing to be a tank player. That's a good thing right now. You are a top laner. Definitely yeah. worked wonders for them, and there are so few words to describe how G2 hung in there. God, how horrible this must feel for, for, for Origin, because they were at the brink of turning it all around. But at the end of the day, That's the dream. That's the dream for any player in Europe to be able to lift that trophy. Has to be absolutely fantastic here for G2 Esports. They earned every accolade we had. Challenger team coming into the LCS. Pick up two new players and move your jungler to the top lane. Get a new coach in Young Buck. And they deserve this so much. Every step of the way. They proved that they were the best team you had to offer.